YouTube, what's poppin'? Y'all, this your boy D. Hyde. Just wanna welcome you guys back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, blessed day. Now, today's video, I wanna share with you guys all the tools that I use when it comes to my DIY beer tools, all right? My do-it-yourself tools that I use every single week to keep my beard looking tight and right, doing my shape-ups, my cleanups, all that goodness. And I also wanted to share some pricing with you guys and maybe a little bit of info when it comes to each tool. Now, before we get deep into the video, make sure you guys hit that notification bell. That way you guys are notified every time your boy D-Hide drops a new video. And if you guys find this video helpful at all in any way, make sure you guys hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow and helps the video get out more, all right? Now, with that being said, let's get into this video. Now, I wanna start things off with my trimmers. All right, the trimmers that I use, and I get this question asked a lot. Um, D high, what trimmers do you use? Okay, the two trimmers that I use are the bevel and the Andis GTX trimmers. When it comes to the bevel trimmers, the only reason why I use these and why I actually love these things now is because bevel actually blessed me with these trimmers. I didn't purchase these myself. They actually sent these to me to do a review on. If you guys haven't seen that review, click on the card that pops up, but I kind of broke these trimmers down and I'm truly blessed and honored to have these $200 trimmers, $200, a lot of money, man. Now, I did find these for $150 at Target. So uh, still pretty pricey ass trimmers, okay? But um, the reason why I love them so much is because they give me a really nice line when it comes to my cheek line. Now, the cool thing with this and what I want to do later on is I want to get the T-blades for these, okay? So let me show you guys how easy this thing is to pop off and you can adjust it on the fly right here. You can make the blades a little sharper and, um, you know, you can dial back so they won't be as sharp. But uh, they do have a T-blade for these that, I'm, that I want to purchase real soon and give them a try. But... These are the bevel trimmers that I use religiously every week. Now moving into my GTXs, and these are definitely my babies, all right? Before bevel came around, I was using these bad boys for everything, from creating my line, doing my cleanup work, which I still use these to do the cleanup work around my neck and um, create the line back here, okay? And also even shave my head. $60 for these trimmers. Now to give you guys a heads up, if you ever thought about picking up a pair of the GTXs, one thing that's different with the GTXs and the, the gray um, Andes T-liners is that the blades are different, okay? The GTX blades are the long tooth blades and the gray OG Andes trimmers has the short tooth blades. Now, what I did was I went ahead and switched out my GTX blades and bought these black blades. Um, these are the short tooth blades. I got these on Amazon for like 20 bucks just to kind of test them out and I'm actually digging them right now. So that's the cool thing. If you have the GTXs and you wanted to switch out the blades, maybe you don't like the uh, the long tooth blades, you could always switch out for the short tooth blades. But if you're more into the traditional shorter blades, then um, you can definitely pick up the gray T-liners, okay? And I think they're both the same price. But for right now, this is what I'm working with and it's been working out really well for me. So with that being said, these are my Andy's GTXs, what I use every single week every Thursday or Friday. Now, next up are my clippers, and these are my Andes Speedmaster 2s, okay? This is what I use to help me do that little fade to the ball head or that little blend to the ball head. This also helps me when it comes to uh, trimming down the beard a little bit. I don't like that poofiness right here on the side. And um, even when I'm doing maybe a little bit of trim up and I wanna knock off a little length, I like using these because they're nice and wide and I'm able to kinda take off that extra length. Um, off the beard. So if you're looking for something that's decently priced, $27, you can't beat this. I know when I bought this a little over two years ago, I actually bought this with the, uh, the GTXs. These were like 40 something bucks. So right now, $27, you cannot beat that at all. And this would definitely get the job done when it comes to your little blending and stuff like that. Especially if you're not a big time barber or you, you know, you're know you more of a do-it-yourselfer where you're gonna just use these tools maybe like once a week, okay? So. Andy Speedmaster tools. This is what I use religiously every single week, every Thursday or Friday. All right. Now, last but not least are my Parker SR1 straight razors. Okay. Um, I actually bought these the same time I bought the GTXs and the Speedmasters. So at that time, I made my mind up that, you know what? I'm going to be serious about this whole thing. I'm going to do my own lineups, my own shape ups. So I went ahead and made the investment and I bought these bad boys so I can learn how to get that final look on my beard and um it's been an experience trying to learn how to uh you know not 
take off a piece of your cheek. But once you master this thing, man, it's definitely gonna give you that sharp, finished look that you're looking for. And this is another one of those tools that I use religiously just about every week. So these are the Parker SR1 straight razors. These are about $20.99 right now on Amazon, which is a pretty good price. These are excellent too because they're well balanced, they're not too heavy, and um, still giving me those sharp lines that I'm looking for. Now two products that I use with the safety razor is the Easy Blade Shave Gel and the Persona Blades, all right? This is a pack of 100, and I probably use, within the last two years, half a box, because you can take these blades and snap them in half and just use one half at a time in this. So fellas, that was pretty much all the tools that I use religiously every single week when it comes to taking care of my beard, doing my shape ups, and just getting this bad boy looking tight and right, all right? Now for a full list of all these tools and products, Check the description box. I have my Amazon store, my Amazon affiliate store in there, and I keep a list of everything that I've used in the past, what I'm currently using, and pretty much my whole beer journey when it comes to tools and products. So with that being said, man, this is your boy D Hyde. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful week, wonderful weekend, and I will catch you guys next time. All right, peace out.